Mr. Bigley. Hey there, guys and gals. It's Gur Bigley, and I'm once again taking another quiz from online. This is a quiz on PlayBuzz.com, which is which classic Pokemon are you? Which I'm interested in doing just due to the fact that, like, I love Pokemon. I've been playing Pokemon Sun and Moon a lot recently, and this one looked kind of interesting. I mean, it's not a very long quiz from what I was able to see, but I would like to find out which of the classic Pokemon I am. I'm a Gen 1 kid. I grew up playing uh, Red, Blue, and Yellow, so I'm very used to, you know, Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle, and Pikachu, and those are, like, the big Pokemon to me. So, like, when someone's like, yeah, I just caught like a table backflip pooper i'm like i don't know what the fuck that is what pokemon is that so let's go ahead let's dive into this and see what pokemon i am take a break from catching them all and find out which classic pokemon uh fits your fighting spirit are you an adorable starter or a seasoned death machine find out now oh god what if i'm a seasoned death machine i feel like that's maybe kind of fitting all right here we go and it's got this great picture of the guys of Pokemon, of the cartoon people, I guess. Well, not all of them, but they're, they're there. There's some cartoon people there. How do you make friends? Uh, through love and understanding, I adapt to my surroundings to make people, or to make people like me. It's very useful. That sounds manipulative. Uh, partying, if they can have a good time, I like them. I don't want to say my friendship can be bought, but it totally can. My friendship is earned plain and simple. It takes a long time, but then we're friends for life. I'm not really one for friends or very easily. People like me and I like people. All right, interesting. So I would normally say that I adapt to my surroundings because like I like to make people f feel comfortable. I'm pretty empathetic. So like I get a good feel of how people are feeling in certain situations, but I don't do it to like take advantage of them to make them my friends. I've never been like, well, I really hate that person, but I better win them over so I have another follower. I'm nothing like that. Like I don't like doing that. I don't like seeing people do that. And like the it's very useful part at the end sort of makes me feel that way. Through love and understanding is sort of like too generic. Uh, I don't really party a whole bunch anymore. Uh, although, like, I will. Like, I like parties. I have a lot of fun at parties, but I just don't do it a ton. I don't want to say my friendship can be bought, but it totally can. Not my way of doing things. My friendship is earned, plain and simple. I think I'm going to go with that one. Um, it does take a long time for me to make friends with people, but not really. Like, I'm pretty open, and I like to talk to people all the time. So I'm going to say my friendship is earned, plain and simple, just due to the fact that, like, I believe in mutual respect, and I believe in earning friendship through just being genuine as opposed to people who like go out of their way to like I said win people over or to pay them money or to party with them exclusively to be friends nothing like that it's just like one of those things where it's like mutual respect and mutual interest that's normally how I create friends so I'm gonna do that one and let's see here oh it looks like there's 10 questions so I get to pick my habitat okay so this is like a a beautiful waterfall or something like that. That's not even one of the choices. Why is that the image? Anyway, uh, so there's like a city landscape here. There's the inside of a like apartment or old home, like a mansion maybe. I don't know what that one is. There's also the woods and it, that, that looks beautiful out there, but I wouldn't want to like just live in the woods. That's like a, what a resort? That looks like a hotel resort, like a five-star resort. That looks really nice. There's a, like a, the Grand Canyon. Um, all of them depending on how I feel. Ooh, okay. Outer space, and then what's this, a volcano? You know what, I think I'm gonna go, I was gonna go with the resort just because it looks really nice and relaxing, and I'm a pretty chill dude for the most part, but all of them depending on how I feel. I believe in adaptability. I like to adapt to situations and just sort of like roll with things. Like, for instance, I was just in New York City and it didn't matter what the weather was like or what the situation uh, was like that I was in. I just enjoyed being in New York City and having a good time, and I was always able to find something to do and have fun with. So I'm gonna go ahead and click all of them depending on how I feel. I like that one. Introvert or extrovert? Oh man, this one's kinda hard for me because I'm sort of like an extroverted introvert in a lot of ways. I spend a lot of time overthinking and uh, thinking about my emotions and thinking about other people in my life and keeping it bottled up inside. 
But when someone does get me talking, I have no problem being able to talk to people. Or for instance, I was a musical theater kid in high school. I loved being on stage and making a big spectacle and having fun uh, just doing that. So I am very extroverted as well. And I guess in social situations, I am a lot more extroverted than I tend to be introverted. Like I like to talk. I like to be part of conversations when I can. So I'll go ahead and I'll click extrovert for that one. All right. What Pokemon type would you be? Oh man, this one's gonna be tough for me. There's a, uh, all right, grass slash leaf, whatever, plant, whatever that one is. I'm not 100%, like, I love Pokemon, but I'm not like one of those diehard people who's like, oh yeah, that's definitely this thing. But I know that's uh, grass, and then there's psychic. Normal, I think is the star, right? Normal. I used to play the Pokemon card game. That was like the only way I remember these. Uh, there's fire, water, uh, electricity, and uh, fighting. Yeah, that's fighting. Okay, so I would probably pick either fire or fighting. And the reason for that with fighting, like I know martial arts. I actually have a black belt. I grew up doing martial arts. I know very stereotypical for an Asian. Uh, but then there's also fire because a lot of people tell me that I have a lot of passion and I have a really fiery temper and a fiery spirit. So I think I'm probably going to go with that one because, you know, martial arts is only part of what I am. It's just something that I tend to do. But fire is more something along the lines of what fits my personality. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that one. This quiz, by the way, is a lot more in depth than I thought it was gonna be. This is kinda of cool, cause it did get me thinking. I thought it was just gonna be a silly little Pokemon quiz. And oh, this is so adorable. Look at that Pikachu and Bulbasaur and Charmander. Anyway, how do you spend a day off? By working more, you don't get anywhere by sitting around, that sounds like me, by socializing with my friends. Uh, yeah, because like that's the whole thing about the first one. I don't really know if there is such thing as a day off for me. I am constantly thinking about doing YouTube and wanting to do YouTube. I love making videos. I really, really do. So, and I say that as this video goes up super late today, but regardless, I don't really like, I love socializing with friends, but I don't get to do it a lot. Uh, I'm wherever life takes me that day, going on an adventure, something exciting and worthwhile, going outside and enjoying the sunshine and outdoors by relaxing at home and enjoying the peace and quiet. Or did someone say party? All right. So I've already said that I don't really party a lot. Um, I, I, I am sort of like a roll with it type of person. Like I said, I like to adapt. So wherever life uh, takes me for that day tends to be like what I want to do, but it's not normally the reality of what I do. So. Like I said, I don't really have a lot of like days off per se because I'm constantly thinking about YouTube and wanting to do YouTube. So I think like the top one by working more, I do go on some like adventures now and then like when the weather's nice here, Morgan and I like to go for like uh, walks through the forest at like parks, things like that. But we don't get to do it as much as I'd like to. So I'd say more often than not, I'm actually still working. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that one, unfortunately. Maybe that's like a good way for me to realize I need to have more actual free time and rest up and relax and do like fun things but like I said I always want to be doing YouTube stuff I love it I'm very passionate about it anyway uh, pick a word to describe yourself stubborn <laughs> that's very true adaptable also true popular I don't really ever feel like I've been a popular person so probably not that one intelligent I don't like to boast about intelligence or anything I like to be in the know I was very good academically growing up but I don't really consider myself intelligent per se. Uh, insightful, uh, yeah, I have some insights about quite a few things, but I don't think it's like my most defining characteristic. Quiet, definitely not. Powerful, I don't know in what sense they're talking about, so I'm probably not gonna go with that one. And empathetic, I'm incredibly empathetic. I am constantly thinking about other people's feelings, so I would maybe go with that one, except adaptable is on the board, like I said. I like to sort of roll with things, like when something happens, I might get stressed out about it, but I do find a way to overcome challenges. That's just something that I've done my entire life and how I like to live, so adaptability, 100% on that one. Why would you battle another Pokémon? For the experience and advancement, uh, because my trainer asked me to, to save my loved ones, to see where it would take me. Uh, next on my adventure for the prize money to meet new people in Pokemon for the fun and thrill of it because I am superior and will win. Oh man, definitely not that one. Uh, definitely not for the prize money either. To meet new people in Pokemon, I kind of like that one. I love meeting new people and I would love meeting new Pokemon if I was a classic Pokemon as well. So let's go ahead and pick that one. 
So that was an easy choice. That was probably like the least time I spent on any of these so far. Uh, what is your favorite weakness? Uh, what is your favorite weakness? No, what is your weakness? I don't think anyone has like a favorite weakness. So what is your weakness? Failure, change, loneliness, darkness, poverty, dullness, others' ignorance, and closed-mindedness. I would go ahead and say out of any of those, uh, like I really hate being lonely. I really do, but at the same time, I have been lonely for a significant portion of my life, so I'm like used to that. Obviously not now, I've been dating Morgan for a very long time. I've had a lot of really good close friends for a long time as well. So uh, I don't know what it feels like anymore to like have that stripped away from me, but I definitely remember the feeling of loneliness. And I know it's something that I can push myself through and get through and survive within. So I'm not too worried about that one. Failure is something that I constantly feel like I'm doing, but it's not something that cripples me. It's something that actually makes me want to push forward and get past. So uh, change is something I have no problem with at all. Darkness, not really afraid of the dark or anything like that. Poverty, I'm constantly in poverty. I'm, I'm super poor. Like, I'm not going to say I'm you know, impoverished or anything like that. I know there's people who are out there who are way worse off than me. Hell, I'm using, you know, a camera and a computer right now to make videos for the internet. So I know I'm in a place of privilege compared to a lot of people, but I know what it's like to be incredibly poor. I don't have a lot of money. I can't afford a lot of uh, creature comforts or things that make me feel happy and good about myself for being able to afford them a lot. So like buying something like even like fast food is a treat to me because I'm like, wow, I actually got to afford that this month. But uh, I wouldn't say I'm impoverished or anything like that. So that's not like a weakness. And I think a lot of people actually build up strength from being impoverished. They're able to sort of see the true value of life. So that's not really a weakness in my mind as much as it is a life experience that hopefully will allow them to grow. Anyway, dullness. Uh, no, no, I wouldn't say that there's much dullness in my life. I'm never really bored or anything like that. Uh, others' ignorance is probably the big one. Uh, closed-mindedness, I'm not closed-minded at all. I'm incredibly open-minded about a lot of things. So others' ignorance, 100%. I cannot stand when people are ignorant. It just really, really bugs me. I wish that more people would take the time to learn about others and educate themselves. Pick a Super Mario character. Why? What the hell's going on with this question? Okay, this is a weird one. Uh, there's uh, Wario, there's Toad, DK, uh, Bowser, Princess Peach, Luigi, Mario, and Yoshi. I'm gonna go with my boy Yoshi. Yoshi is the shit. I love me some Yoshi. He's a cool dude. And then choose your spirit animal. Is this the last question? This is the, why is this the last question? Choose your spirit animal. There's a bear, there's an eagle, there's an alligator, a frog, a dog, cat, sea turtle, and a kangaroo. I'm going to go ahead and pick dog just through the fact that most people that I know in my life compare me to a puppy, like someone who's constantly running around and energetic and everything like that, and just has a love for people, I guess. Um, I would say cat just due to the fact that I tend to get introverted and only go to people when I feel like it, but I'm much more like a dog, especially like outward facing. So we'll go ahead and pick this cute little puppy here, click him, it's calculating what I am. What Pokemon am I? Oh, I'm an Eevee! That's perfect! That's so awesome because I am an Eevee. Like, that, that's my favorite type of Pokemon. That is my favorite, favorite Pokemon. I've loved Eevee forever just due to the fact that Eevee is one of those Pokemon that can adapt. And that's always been something that I've liked about Eevee. That's something that I've sort of, like... As goofy as it is, when I was a lot younger, I was like, I like Eevee because Eevee can adapt to different situations. Eevee doesn't uh, have to stick to one type. Eevee can change constantly, and I really, really love that. So that's awesome that I got Eevee. I'm actually really surprised. So multi-talented and adaptable. Yo, you know, that's me to a T, multi-talented. <laughs> um, you are a budding soul that life seems to pull in every direction. You tend to dabble in anything and everything all at once and have the unnatural ability to blend into any situation. Whether it be a firestone, waterstone, or thunderstone, no matter what life throws at you, you make it your own and turn it into something beautiful. So once again, that's like the whole reason I love Eevee. It doesn't matter what form 
Eevee takes, Eevee's able to run with it and do stuff. I, I just think that's so cool that I got my favorite Pokemon of all time. But yeah, that was the Pokemon, uh, what classic Pokemon test or whatever. I don't even remember the name of this test, but it was a lot of fun. It was really cool. Um, it was a lot more in depth than I thought it was going to be. I didn't think I was going to get an actual like personality type at the end, but that's really awesome that that was the result that I got. But I'm going to go ahead and leave a link for this down below in the description so you guys can let me know in the comments what Pokemon you got from the test because I'm very interested to find out what you guys are as well but that's going to be it for this video I hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did please be sure to hit the like button share the video and favorite it also be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already for those of you who have thank you so much for all of your support you guys are the best in the world I love every single one of you and as always it was great seeing you bye bye Sir,